it's it's quite normal for for the market to to react uh, adversely initially uh, as the Fed really gets on a uh, uh, Fed hike cycle underway, uh, and so that really you know didn't surprise us much. Uh, in fact, what did surprise us, you know, is, is the lack of appreciation the market has for the fact that the Fed has admitted it's behind the curve, it's pivoted, and now it's doing what the market had wanted it to do. You know, it, it, it's tapered the bond buy, buy, uh program, that's gone. Now, then it's also raised for the first time. It's even said it plans to raise as much as 50 bips, maybe twice in the months ahead. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, it's talking about uh, reducing the balance sheet and by a uh, trillion dollars annually. Gosh, what more can you want? But uh, the market never quite trusts the Fed, even when the Fed is a Bernanke legacy Fed and feeds the market very nicely and the economy. Yeah, well, I want to touch on that. You're saying this is a Bernanke legacy Fed, obviously uh, alluding to more transparency, just more information about plans coming out. Is that helping the Fed when it comes to its relationship with the market? Is it just maybe just too much information? You know, I, I don't think it's TMI. I really don't. I, I think instead it, 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 it's quite, it, it, it's quite uh, good that it does this. It's just that it takes a little while for the market to digest it. Uh, you know, I think the, the, the Fed chair is, is, is on the way to do the right thing here. Uh, and I think the market just is saying, I'm from Missouri, show me. If you remember that, that slogan <laughs> that they used. To say. So we had Roger Ferguson on, former uh, Fed vice chair earlier. And I, I talked yes. to him about how the Fed measures Wall Street versus Main Street. Uh, tech stocks hit very hard by the Fed minutes. But a lot of people on Main Street, they're hurting too as far as inflation and gas prices. But then going full circle, a lot of them are also looking at their 401ks like, hey, what's going on? So when the Fed's making these decisions, how big of a factor in your mind is Wall Street versus Main Street? Oh, I think I think the Fed is really considering Main Street first. After that, there is consideration of Wall Street because there's a knockoff effect, whether it's teachers' pensions, policemen's pensions, uh, fire uh, pen, uh, pensions, et cetera. Uh, this is, this is uh, it's something the Fed takes into account. And, and when it does the surveys from the regional Fed offices, it, it, this is all very important. Uh, but we would say, if anything, we think that the Fed is doing the, the right thing. And uh, related to tech, we think the sell-off is indiscriminate. And what really is important is separating the wheat from the chaff. There's a lot of good technology that's embedded in both the lives of business as well as in the consumers that's doing quite well through this and will likely do even better as things begin to pick up. All right, John, before we let you go, I want to I ask you about one take you have. You're saying a lot of this sell-off is people simply taking profits without fear of FOMO. Um, if you don't have any fear of FOMO, what does that say long-term? Because in general, people have been standing these mega-cap tech names and other stocks thinking the market would just keep going up, 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 up and, and up. You know, I think that the thing is that the, the historic uh, long-term effect tells you that good businesses uh, will weather all kinds of situations in the economy. And the prospects on a secular basis for technology and what it can do for all 11 sectors, including itself, uh, are really good drivers here. And I think people who are, have intermediate to longer term goals are staying more patient. I think they learned a lot over the course of the last 13 years 